first we want to know uh, if you could you please share with us uh, some words about your dissertation for those who could not come here today. Well, one of the first things is getting people to handle cattle quietly and calmly, no yelling and screaming, no hitting with sticks. Calm cattle are more productive cattle. Better weight gain. If it's breeding cattle, better uh, reproduction with artificial insemination. Uh, good handling, good uh, transport, less bruises, bruises have to be cut out and thrown away. So there's good economic reasons for good handling and welfare of cattle. Okay, another question we, we want to, to do to you is, uh, which of the main topics that Argentinian farmers must take into account to, in terms of animal welfare? Well, the first thing in beef is good handling. There's, um, you know, in my country, people are really starting to understand the importance of uh, good handling, and that's the first thing. We have to look at what we do and say, you know, if somebody makes a video on their iPhone or on their Samsung phone, how is that going to look on uh, the Internet? Um, uh, rough handling of cattle, that would look really bad on the Internet. We need to think about, would you show your wedding guests some Buenos Aires, uh, some bad ways that you handle cattle? No. We need to change that. Okay. And... Um and the veterinarians, uh, what, what do you think veterinarians must do with, 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 all of, with all of these things that you talk today? Well, veterinarians can work on training, um, uh, training people on animal handling. And what I have found training people on animal handling is some people just don't know there's a better way. And when you show them, they go, oh, wonderful, there's a better way. We will do it. And then there's some where you have to constantly supervise to prevent them from slipping back. Um, I really like to measure handling. What percentage of cattle did we handle with no running? I don't want cattle running. I can measure that. Uh, cattle hitting gates, cattle falling down, uh, uh, cattle um, mooing when we handle them. I can measure those things. Then I can tell, am I getting better or am I getting worse? It's just like traffic police. They measure speeding, and if there was no traffic police, the highway would be really bad. Uh, so you measure your handling to see, well, are, am I getting better or am I getting worse? And then unfortunately, there's a few people that probably just should not be working with cattle. And if they're working in the feed yard, they should work in the feed factory away from the cattle. There is a, an opportunity for veterinarians in working yes. uh, correctly with it. There's a lots of opportunities for veterinarians. And it's really important that veterinarians in their training have animal behavior. And the last one. It's very inter interesting what you said about internet. Uh, in the, in the question before, and I would like to, to know uh, if internet and all, all these social medias and all, and all this uh, is uh, a benefit for, for animal welfare. Well, we've had some very bad treatment of animals um, shown on the internet. Um, some of the worst video has been at dairies, um, poking sharp um, metal uh, prongs into uh, cattle, uh, beating dairy cattle, really bad handling and the public gets very upset about this and that motivates change. I would like to motivate change in a positive way. The research is very clear. Calm cattle gain more weight. Calm animals that have been acclimated to going through the corrals, some very nice papers by Ronaldo Cook on this, have better artificial insemination, pregnancy rates, cattle handled calmly, trucks loaded at the correct density, less bruises, and bruises have to be cut out and thrown away, and then you have the issue of dark cutting meat, calm handling at the slaughterhouse, and that last five minutes is really important because if you get cattle fearful and agitated, last five minutes you get tough meat. Okay, thank you very much and uh, thank you for your time. Okay, thank you.
Era entonces la doctora Temple Grandin aquí en este evento organizado por la Cámara Argentina de Fitlot. Luego vamos a hacer la traducción eh, propiamente bien hecha, con un doblaje seguramente o con un, algunos títulos abajo. Les pido disculpas, no tenía mucho tiempo como para traducir todo lo que fue diciendo, pero me parece que fue una charla eh, muy interesante acerca de cómo se, se está trabajando en, en bienestar animal, las ventajas que se tiene con respecto a lo que puede llegar a ser el manejo de internet y, y, y también acerca de los principales temas que se trató, que trató ella aquí en esta, en esta charla que dio en Pilar, donde estamos en la provincia de Buenos Aires, en este evento organizado por la Cámara Argentina de Fitos, del segundo encuentro para veterinarios que lo estamos viviendo a través de hablando de lo nuestro.com.ar.